This is a Chinese People's Liberation Army Type 13 individual soldiers self-heating meal. It weighs one pound 12.8 ounces or 815 grams and it contains 1,171 calories. The Type 13 is a no frills straightforward ration. Two 320 gram mains. One is pork chow mein and the other is chicken curried fried rice and then a pickled vegetable and a beverage base. It breaks down to 40 grams of protein, 35 grams of fat, and 173 grams of carbohydrates. Tear notches on the side. Let's give it a look. Again, it's very straightforward. Two 320 gram mains already built in to these flameless ration heaters that have a heating element on both sides with a heat sleeve, which seems pretty handy. It's also adding to the weight. Here's your beverage base, and here's a pickled vegetable. And this is a water measuring pack for your flameless ration heater. You fill it up to the line, gives a perfect measurement, and then a spoon and napkin. This thing seems pretty versatile. You could split it up into two smaller meals, or have one large 320 times two plus a 20 gram pickled vegetable, that's a 660 gram meal. That's pretty heavy. So let's get these FRHs going. Oh yeah, listen to that. And these take about 15 minutes to heat up. All right, so we're about six or seven minutes in. And this is 12 minutes. Okay, it's been just over 15 minutes. These are ready. I'm gonna wipe them down. There's a slight chemical residue from the FRHs left on the pouches here. Not bad. All right, so let's get sat on your tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with that beverage base. This huge pack for just this little amount doesn't seem very efficient. I forgot to mention this ration was made May 5th, 2018. pack. It smells like malt and lychee fruit. It's pretty nice. Perfect for eight ounces. It's napkin. Not very tough. It's enough of the pork chow mein. Oh, yeah, that does not smell right at all. There's just like a greasy, savory smell like a food truck, but then like rotting, breaking down, 
you know, like liquefying vegetables. Steaming hot pile of rot. Hold on, I'm not even going to touch that with this spoon. Okay. Okay, so it's a pork chow mein with some kind of green vegetable. Shreds of carrot. Oh, the smell is just wafting up. It's even worse now. This isn't my first rodeo with this. I've, I've done this exact type 13. There's, there's, there is something wrong with every single one of these. This is the same thing. I, I ran into this just under two weeks ago. This is actually the third time I've run into a PLA ration with this issue. It has greens in it. Look at this. Even the pork is green. Look at this. Maybe this is like chlorophyll that leaches off or something. And perhaps it is. Look at that pork. And the smell is foul. Look how there's like green in the noodles. And this very well could be like a chlorophyll leaching onto the, the noodles from those greens. But I've eaten this before. And I got sick from this ration. I got footage of me eating this. I don't want to take even one bite. This is unbelievable. There's something wrong with all of these. And... Not sure what the deal is. Check this out. Get it on a white surface. I'm telling you, that's how you can really see it. That's foul meat. Sitting in a retort pouch. Even the inside. This is something that would not fuel a soldier. I would be scared to even eat this at all, even if I were starving. And look at that. More green pork. That is unbelievable. That's sitting in a ration. So now, let's check out the chicken curry fried rice. And that is just fine. Look at the yellow curry, how it's stained the inside of that pouch. Very overpowering yellow curry smell. Let's try this out. Mm. That yellow curry, eating it with this wafting up right in front of it, that is putrid. No joke. Breaking down vegetables before it was even put in the retort. And they are either leaching green onto the pork and noodles, or the pork is green from rot. One or the other. Oh, by the way, the, the yellow curry, cheap, light onion. Wait, hold on. Little bits of carrot that, you know... You can see it, but you can't taste it. The texture of the rice, it's not too bad. The flameless ration heaters work well, but the food isn't even as hot as it should be for the amount of weight that that takes up. The extra heating element, those heat, those little sleeves that, you know, see, so I guess you can hold it and not burn your fingers. It's just extra weight. It takes up extra space. That could have been allocated for like an on the go morale boosting snack or an extra beverage base or something else. The ration's not even that efficient. And this is terrible. I ate it. Yeah, it was just over a week ago. I was fully recovered like two days later. That was the worst I got it in just over three years. I had a Ukrainian ration. It was highly suspect. I believe that was the, the cause like 90% certain the cause of E. coli. October 2nd, I was admitted to the ER. October 2nd, 2015, was the most expensive ration I ever had. That was a Ukrainian canned 24 hour.
I really like this beverage base. Lychee malt flavor with a dull sweetness from some kind of sweetener, probably saccharin. Yeah, the fried rice, it's a little bit greasy. A low quality yellow curry flavor. The chicken, and when you bite in, the fibers kind of separate in an unnatural way. It, it just tastes very processed. Nothing all too redeeming about the flavor. And it needs salt. Just earlier this month, I ate a 112 year old U.S. Army emergency ration, you know, from 1906, December 1906. Didn't get sick. Dried beef and chocolate. Ate a not even one year old Chinese PLA this thing just over a week ago and got sick. And I keep smelling it right now. I came back to it, thought it was a fluke. So here's some footage of that from about a week ago. I'm gonna first check out this pork chow mein with looks to be some shredded carrot and a green mustard or kind of hard to tell. I really don't like the color of that. And it really comes out with a, the smell of chlorophyll. Doesn't really want to get on the spoon too well either. Hmm. The first flavor I pick up is the strong smell, but now in a flavor is chlorophyll. Like grass. Oh, that is awful. I mean, the flavor is like off. And look at that noodle. Why is that noodle green? It just, I mean, look at that. Even the pork is like green. That's definitely not normal. This one, well, maybe it is normal, but... Not to me. This range of flavors, well actually it's not really much of a range of flavors, it's just a waft of chlorophyll followed up with a little bit of a greasy, savory flavor. It barely wants to even get on the spoon. It's a terrible napkin, too. It just has such a strong flavor of a grassy, you know, like yard weed type chlorophyll flavor with a little bit of a fish tank smell and flavor as well. Man, it's very off putting. It is probably one of the least appetizing things I've eaten out of a ration, out of a retort, out of any ration that's supposed to be fresh. It doesn't really taste fresh. It hardly even tastes safe. It's low quality and confusing. Eating those few bites, actually several bites, I probably ate more. Yeah, I definitely ate more of that than I really wanted to. Let's try another bite. That was a big mistake, and I'm not making that same mistake again. I'm gonna try out this pickled cabbage. That has a delicious and prevalent savory cabbage flavor. It's salty, the vinegar, it's a palate cleanser. Really, it's just best on its own, but out of slight desperation, for, you know, some kind of range of flavors, it is nice to mix with this. And although not the best thing, a little bit of vinegar, 
again, really helps, but there's not nearly enough of it for the 320 gram portion. So this is a ration that you're not going to be compelled to finish. And that is the last thing you want. A lot of extra weight wasted with food that you're not going to eat like that. 320 grams wasted plus the weight of the retort and the FRH, all of it a waste. The quality control is dismal at best and I don't want to finish it. I just want to look for some different food. There, This thing comes in four different menus. Avoid any of the ones with noodles. The drink mix, refreshing. You can taste that it has a high mineral content and I would say a fair amount of vitamin B6 from the taste, which that's good. But this ration falls short in numerous ways. It's too bulky for the amount of calorie content. It's at least four ounces overweight. The cubic space that it takes up, again, it's too bulky. And I feel like any soldier deserves better food than this. They need better food to fuel their bodies for combat. And this ration does not provide that. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Type 13 Individual Soldiers Self-Heating Meal. Definitely one of the worst. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new, or old. Alright, cool. See ya.